I went to a couple different Dollar Trees. I found these adorable little moss bunnies. They're giving very Green Witch vibes. They also had these styrofoam craft eggs. These are perfect because you can paint them to be whatever color or style matches your aesthetic. They had this adorable little carrot garland. You could also paint the string black to make it a little darker and spookier. They had lots of black and white signage this year, as well as lots of cottage core style signage. In the St. Patrick's Day section, I love these little plastic cauldrons. These are great for so many different little DIYs, and I'm going to show you my favorite a little bit later. Some cute little gnomes and little fairy doors. I love to repaint these things. Even a cute little jar of buttons. Lots of spring and Easter do-it-yourself wooden and metal signs. These are great to make your own vibe. I wish I had gotten the little bunny to make a spooky bunny. They also have lots of regular DIY metal and wooden signs that you can always paint to make different styles. Even little birdhouses, trays, boxes, and other trinkets you can paint. They even have these little glass jars. These are great little cute spell jars. I love these garlands. They're a great deal. They finally brought them back. These are great to add to any home to make it cozy and botanical-like. even little jars of seashells for sea witches and lots of fake succulents. I loved this little round mirror as an accent mirror. They also had these LED taper candles. These are a great deal, especially if you don't want to deal with actual candles. They also had LED tea lights and pillar candles. How adorable is this little acorn candle? Very goblin core. I loved it, but it was all banged up. I also loved this little glass tray. It was really nice, great for witchy things or just candles. They also had lots of jars. These are great for your herbs. This really pretty silver metal tray. I used to keep my perfumes on a tray like this. I even found some black pantyhose. I got these to rip up for more grungy outfits. And they had these kind of knee-high trouser socks as well. Next at Five Below, I found these black metal stools. These would also be great plant stands. They had these gold glittery eggs. These would be really cute decor, I think especially mixed in with some black eggs. They also have full-size yoga mats, if you didn't know. Not spring, but a great deal. Five Below has some really cute t-shirts for only $5. They had a bunch of spooky and witchy designs last time I went. I really like the little skeleton with the flowers and it says grounded. Definitely check out their t-shirts if you haven't before. They also have lots of cute fake plants and even some garland. And you can always paint the base of these plants to be black and make it spookier or even spray paint the leaves. I loved these little corner shelves. They're a great addition. And more fake plants and even some kind of wicker cottage core items. This was a really cool little stand with hooks that you could spray paint black for your jewelry or something. I love these little wall hooks. They're very 90s to me. I use one for my mugs. Super cute and witchy to me. Um, yeah, they have these little kits. I don't know if I trust these. It just seems a little odd. But they do have incense. Four for a dollar and some smelled really good. Does anyone remember these from like the late 90s? And how cute would a spooky bee house be? I'd love to paint that spooky. They also had this cool set about the moon with oracle cards and they had a couple of cool kind of witchy books. I picked up the tarot one. It looked like a really good reference book. And look at this cute little Squishmallow. I've never seen him before. So adorable.
Walmart had this great black and white spring Easter collection with some little plush bunnies. These are little fabric colored covered eggs for decor. They also had the little eggs on picks. These are great for more minimalistic and spooky decor, even garland here, some ceramic bunnies. You could also always paint little carrots. This cute little tray would be adorable for baked goods. These jumbo eggs you can hang up. And I love this little wicker carrot, very green witch vibes. And more adorable little bunnies. Next at Home Goods slash Marshalls slash TJ Maxx, they had lots of spring items out. I really liked the lavender wreath and the black plant pot section they had. I found this cute little gold and white Easter egg garland. I wish it was black and gold, but still very cute. I even found some fall candles on clearance, which was so fun to find. I really love macrame. I think it's very cozy and gives kind of a retro feel. They had a few different pieces. This one was on clearance. You could totally paint the frame black. Um, they have crystals here now. I don't know if I trust these. They look a little odd and they're covered in a really thick glaze. But I did love this box. It was actually a dark green. It was really beautiful. This wooden little chest was also really cool. I love the vibes of this. Great for storing some smaller things. Look how cute these little teas are. Their boxes look like books. This Easter pasta was adorable. You could put it in a jar as decoration as well and only $4. They had lots of these little wooden Lazy Susans and trays, this beautiful sunflower design, and I loved this one with the metal butterflies. I think the metal and the wood together looks really cool. And this cloche is just stunning, whether it's for baked goods or decor, it's so cool looking. They also have these teeny tiny pots and pans. These are so cute for doing little spells or you could even keep plants in them. I just loved how these looked. They also had these nice marble spoon rests and little trays for a really good deal. A cute little bunny waffle maker. They also had these little silicone bunny trays. These are great to DIY and make your own spooky cake pops or something. I loved how beautiful these little jars are. You could paint this yourself if you were crafty with some thrifted jars, but these would be beautiful for herbs. I loved these little jars for moon water or sun water, just such a cool style. This jar was really cute too, but it was missing its lid. They had a bunch of really cute different mugs that had moons and stars and different astrological things. I loved these seat cushions. I think the black and white floral is a great way to have a darker spring decor. And this is very 90s to me. Maybe not very witchy, but this just is like giving comfort 90s vibes. <laughs> they even had these really nice quality kind of Greenwich style purses. I just thought these were really cool and I really liked both of these styles. I got one of the wooden heart signs from Dollar Tree and I'm doing design based on one I saw on Instagram but I can't for the life of me find the reference picture. If you know who has one like this, please let me know. But I'm simply painting a cute little ghost poking out from the bottom to create a spooky design. This would have been really cute for Halloween, but nonetheless, I'm excited to add this to my decor and it probably only took me like 
20 minutes to make besides drying time. So super simple, easy, cheap decor. This is super simple. All you're gonna do is take your little plastic cauldron, take a little leaf and hot glue it in there. And I just took some fishing line, tied it to it and staple gunned it into the ceiling. It's giving very Harry Potter herbology class. I absolutely love these. And you could add in different flowers or berries to match different holidays and just pop them in there. This is a super simple DIY. I got these little drippy foam flowers from Dollar Tree a while back. They were a light purple color and I just spray painted them all matte black. And now I have spooky dark florals that didn't cost me an arm and a leg. I started painting these and quickly realized holding them with my hand was not going to work. So I used a toothpick and stabbed the bottom and I was able to easily paint these and twist them around as I painted. It also helped with drying them. I just stabbed little holes in the side of a box and stuck the toothpicks in there and they were able to dry nicely. After I did the first layer, I started painting some different little spooky and spring themed designs on the different eggs. I am definitely no artist, so please don't judge me, but I was inspired by some other amazing artists I found online, like these two lovely creators, and those are kind of how I based some of my designs, but they're nowhere near as good as theirs.
I hope you enjoyed this spooky and witchy spring shopping and DIY video. Let me know what you think. And if you try any of these out, please send me a picture on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see. And I wish you all a very spooky springtime. Don't forget to subscribe for more thrifted and spooky content.